Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is Eliminator on the ZX Spectrum by Housen. So I'm playing this on the Toast Rack 128 and uh, there's a title loading picture so let's have a look at this one. So we've got Housen Presents, Eliminator written by John Wildsmith, music and Nick Jones, graphics Steve Crow and concept is John Phillips. So, uh, yeah, okay, so we've got the Hall of Fame, so that's like the high score table. And, uh, yep, so let's start the game. So, as you can see, this is a 3D perspective game. You, you control this ship, and there's not much colour in the game, but it's a lovely 3D effect. So, you shoot the baddies. Um, yep, so you can move left and right. And get power ups as well, special weapons and stuff. Oh, you fuck, I just crashed into the barrier right now. So, uh, yep, played this as a kid back in the day and uh, we had it on a magazine cover tape but uh, it was also available as a, sta as a standalone game okay so uh, yeah shoot the baddies got some nice one to eight music I think the game runs only in one to eight I might be wrong on that actually I haven't tried it on the 48 machine but obviously it won't have the music because it's AY music so yeah um, okay here we go so we keep going try and get in the middle of this bit so we don't crash there we go this is a jump, jump over the barrier. So you've got to jump over the barriers because if you're down to you, you smash straight into it on that point. So you can see that we're not sort of like a tunnel now. Uh, so the, the checkerboard patterns are also at the top. So yeah, good graphics, good concept. Now this bit, we got, we're going down an incline. So yeah, they've managed to do a good 3D effect. Watch out for these, these triangles, sort of like do a salon. Oh, you fuck! I wasn't quick enough. So yeah, it's good, good graphics, uh, good music. Right, okay, let's try and do this again. You've got to try and get your, your, your timing right or you, you'll just smash into them. You can't slow down. The road will always progress at the same speed. It's like a curvy bit here. Whee! And yeah, so yeah, excellent use of uh, 3D technology on the spectrum. Uh, runs nice and fluid. Now we are slow down. Yeah, I, I recommend this one, it's, it's a pretty fun game, it's hard though. It's really difficult. Okay, let's try and shoot this baddie. There we go. And we're coming out of the tunnel now, going into more of a night scene. Ooh, that was a bit of a narrow gap, wasn't it? So I didn't get a high score that time, but let's give that another go. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's got good response to the uh, input lag. There's no options menu, but if you want to use Kempson joystick, you just press fire on the Kempson joystick. And if you want to use Sinclair joystick, you just press fire on the Sinclair joystick. It just automatically knows which one to use. Well, you, you can probably play it with a keyboard as well. I'm guessing you could mouse spectrum games, to be honest. There was more the Commodore 64 games that you couldn't play with a keyboard after the time. Okay, here we go. It's probably because the, spectrum, the original Spectrum doesn't have any joystick ports built in. So they made a lot of games keyboard controllable, I'm guessing. Like the, the 48 model. And the Taos Rack. The Taos Rack doesn't have any joystick ports built in. I don't think any of the Sinclair machines do, actually. It's just the, uh, the Amstrad models that are the SJS1 ports. Anyway, I'm rambling a bit. Okay, so try and get past this bit again. Here we go. Alright, watch out for these triangles, like pyramid cone things. Alright, and up the hill we go. I like that, it's quite a clever clever use of the uh, the road there. To give sort of like a, an inspiration that you're going up and up. Oh, you fuck! Here we go again. Yeah, you, you do get a limited amount of bullets, so try and use them a bit more wisely. I believe it's at top meter. Yeah, it's the yellow meter on the right hand side that is your bullet meter. Once that runs out, you've got no more bullets. Okay, try and get past this bit again. Oh yes, there we go. Up the hill. Into the uh, tunnel. Here we go. Have some of that. And have some of that. 
progressing through the cave, the tunnel. More baddies. But there's plenty of baddies to shoot on the game. There is that hard bit where it's really narrow. Hey, the hell are you supposed to do that? Maybe you're supposed to shoot them, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's a quick look at Eliminator on the ZX Spectrum. Um, good game and uh, yeah, nice nice 3D effects and stuff on the road and stuff. The checkered board surface. I'm going to give that one a, a nice 8 out of 10. Superb fun. Thank you for watching.